2019, the Miami Dolphins' rushing attack was so dreadful that Ryan Fitzpatrick led the team in rushing yards and touchdowns. It was sad, but not nearly as sad as the Dolphins' attempt at fixing the group in 2020. First, Chris Greer opted for Jordan Howard over Melvin Gordon and several other free agent options. They then passed on a plethora of rookies, instead choosing to waste draft capital on Matt Breida and Dwayne Washington. I don't fault them for trying, Jordan Howard maybe, but we can all admit it didn't work out as planned. Because after the dust settled, it was Miles Gaskin and Salvin Ahmed that carried Miami's running back room. A running back room that the team will certainly look to address this offseason. And while we'll continue to push the hashtag Tua and Friends agenda as long as he's the quarterback of the Miami Dolphins, there are plenty of options outside of Najee Harris and the 2021 draft class. The most popular being Green Bay's star running back Aaron Jones. Rumors have already linked the 26-year-old RB to the Finns. First, let me start by saying that Aaron Jones is a very good running back. Top 5 to 10 range. He would probably be the best back the team has had since Ricky. But that doesn't mean the Dolphins have to be the team to overspend. And overspend, a team will. According to Spatrack, Aaron Jones is projected to receive a contract worth an estimated $14.6 million per year, which would make him one of the league's top five highest paid RBs. I don't know what the formula is or how this number came about, but it's probably not too far off when you consider where a new deal for Jones is headed. And when you factor in how productive he's been over his four seasons in the league, he deserves it. Through four seasons, Jones has amassed over 4,421 total yards and 48 touchdowns from scrimmage. Best of all, Jones can do everything. He has shown the ability to bulldoze through defenders and make a defender miss in open space. And his effectiveness in the passing game is sure to catch the Dolphins' attention. Obviously, the exact dollar amount will matter. And I think we can all agree the team needs help on offense. But wouldn't that money be better spent on an offensive lineman or game-changing wide receiver in free agency? I also don't think we should overlook Miles Gaskin's unexpected season in 2020 and his relationship with Eric Studsville. When healthy, Gaskin looked impressive at times for the Dolphins, carrying the ball 142 times for 584 yards and three touchdowns. And his 4.1 yards per carry was much better than what we saw from the running backs a season prior. Gaskin flashed potential this past season but lacks some of that bruising power the Dolphins had hoped they'd get with Kalen Ballage or Jordan Howard. The power that Aaron Jones has put on display time and time again. So what should the Dolphins do? Do they get into a bidding war for Aaron Jones, inevitably overpaying for a position that this coaching staff and the fine folks in New England have chosen not to invest heavily in throughout the course of history? Or could the plan be to pair Miles Gaskin with a guy like Najee Harris or Javante Williams in the draft? Time will tell which direction Chris Greer and the Miami Dolphins ultimately go. But if it were up to me, the Dolphins would do everything they can to not overpay for a running back, no matter how talented they might be.